Now, I had this from a luggage rack years ago, and I just utilized it and made my rack shorter. And I and I just used scrap wood that I had and some hardware. So I didn't really invest a lot of money, the pool noodles, and you can see some of the tie down hardware I used. Other than that, I already had the two by fours and the one by and screws. I just screwed it all together and painted it black eventually. And I added these arms so I can hold two kayaks. But if you don't have these at home, one of these luggage racks, and of course this right here so it won't scratch your truck. Uh, you could easily, you know, move it to here and you won't have to use that. But like I said, I just utilized what I had. And uh, I like the look of it. Kind of looks mean going down the highway. So that's what I went with. Okay, so I'm back from Anahuac, Texas, and I'm doing this DIY truck kayak rack. And uh, I done took off the 16 footer and the 15 foot canoe. So you can see this, but that right above that green kayak, the ocean kayak, I, I made another, like an extra little rack. It originally was for stability, but it turns out it makes an excellent, excuse me, an excellent fishing rod holder. Now, I do need to add those little clips like that fishing rod holder piece. But for the time being, I did it like this. I just used the bungee cord and a rope. Let's get up there. And you can see that they just lay flat. There's six poles. And Anahuac, Texas is probably an hour and a half from here and none of them budged. And they lay flat out, didn't touch each other. Lift up in the air, breaker beam. So it turned out to be a good addition to the kayak rack. And like I said, I want to add the fishing rod holder clips. So it'd be more stable in there for longer trips. And I take this kayak rack everywhere. I take it. I took it all the way to North Carolina, Louisiana, um, Village Creek. I take it on Trinity River, New Braunfels. All these trips I go on, Sergeant, Texas, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the kayak rack has never failed. I've never lost a kayak, and one's never came untied. And I use bungee cords, of course. But when I do do a big load, I want to show you this real quick. I simply, from one of my larger kayaks, simply just use a part of a ladder a two-piece ladder and I use the one piece out of the two piece and I just extend the bed probably what it's almost three and a half four foot and it, that's a 14 foot kayak with the tailgate down all the way to the cab is like eight foot and as you can see it's probably about six foot inside the truck and then about a four foot overhang and then I tie strap it down and it doesn't budge and when I don't use the rack I just same thing I just use a a tie down strap there in the front and it holds the front down the front part of the bed excuse me well these are all alternative ways to transport your kayaks without spending the big money I try to do things affordable that work. I hope you enjoy these ideas.